start us off i must apologize for having been away for quite some time but then again i'm back welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so today i'm i'll be showing you how i take down my hair and the first thing i do is trim off the excess braiding hair that i have because my hair yes it's long but not super long as the braiding hair that i use one thing that i want you to remember as i take down this hairstyle is the fact that this is a sped up version it's like sped up about seven times so ideally i'm being very gentle with my hair this is a nine minutes video that has been has been shortened and edited into from that is from a one hour video so you need to be cognizant of that as we start and as you can see i'm not using any tools other than my fingers god given comb so ideally what i do I, i'm very gently ensuring that i get out all the braiding hair and once i've done that the next thing that i do is to ensure that i detangle my hair using my fingers why do i do this because if i go in with a comb at this point my hair is a little bit too dry for me to use a comb and i don't want to get it wet because it will start shrinking up because as you can see it's already shrunken so using water will only or any moisturizer will only make it shrink up even more and i'm not planning on washing it immediately after this so we need to take care of that so ideally that's why you see me do th doing this my hair is a little bit itchy well the hairstyle would have lasted a little bit longer only that my scalp got itchy because it's been a month since i last washed my hair and so i needed to take this hairstyle down so that i can be able to wash my hair and wash my scalp because a healthy scalp and is as a result of clean cleaning your scalp and ensuring that your scalp is not clogged with products and seeing that i've been using a lot of products over the time over the months over over the weeks that's why i need to ensure that i clean my scalp so the next thing that i'll do when taking down this hair is the fact that i leave it I leave my hair to breathe for about an hour also because at, during the take down process and especially at the crown is it the crown or the top of my head I do find that that's the most tender part of my scalp and I need to take care of it as you can see I'm being very gentle if I encounter any knots during this process of detangling finger detangling I don't bargain I just take my scissors and cut it because i've come to realize that if i don't do that i'll just be having making a recipe for disaster in future so ideally that's what I'll, you'll see me doing and another thing that you need to know is that when you're taking down your hair you need to be preoccupied so that you don't see like it's taking a lot of time because this process needs you to be so patient patient that you ignore everything else that you happening to your hair as you have seen i did trim off that knot that i encountered because those single strand knots are the ones that end up leading to tangles in your hair and that is what we do not want so you need i was watching some youtubers here and i can say for a fact i've been watching shonara if you don't know who shonara is guys you need to find out who she is she is such a an apologetic baby girl like she calls herself and i love love her mindset and um, everything about her lifestyle as we stand so ideally as you can see i'm just ensuring that i run my hands and my fingers through the hair to ensure that i get rid of all the knots and i remove all the tangles whatever is left is not much so that by the time i go to the to wash my hair i don't have to deal with tangles because another thing that i want to let you know is the fact that you don't want to be dealing with tangled hair in the shower or during the wash process because if you are i can assure you for a fact you won't love the experience not even a bit so ideally from here henceforth i'll let you watch if you have any questions let me know in the comment section any questions that you might have for me but as you will be seeing in this video the only equipments that all the only tools that i'll be using are my fingers and scissors and the fact that we are using scissors is just because i do encounter knots that need to be snipped off to ensure that my hair remains healthy 
at all times so enjoy and let me know what hairstyles do you want to see me wear next after these cornrows i was thinking of doing some other cornrows similar to this maybe a different style but let me know in the comment section what other hairstyles would you want to see me and i'm back i won't be gone anymore i'm back now full time and uh, i hope we will enjoy each other's company and learn a lot from each other until next time guys peace and i love you enjoy the rest of the clip bye and don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed